You know, I think we need to work some things out, and once we do... What? <laughs> no. Do we get married today? If this is what your relationship looks like between Trisha Paytas and Jason Nash, run. Run for the hills as fast as you can. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And in case you missed it, I just started a Twitch channel and I've been doing a lot of editing of my videos over there so I could talk to you while I edit. So today I'm gonna actually be editing this video and I'm gonna be talking to all of the viewers about toxic relationships, borderline personality disorder, and all sorts of stuff. So make sure you go follow me on Twitch, all right? But anyways, before I get started, I'm gonna say this, like, I'm not a therapist, I'm not a psychologist, obviously I don't treat Ch Trisha Paytas either, so I cannot give her a diagnosis of BPD. So borderline personality disorder is uh, a disorder that many people struggle with who had a rough childhood. Whether it was emotional abuse or just any kind of trauma in their life, they can struggle with borderline personality disorder. And they have this kind of like, I love you, I hate you relationship with a lot of people. So. Like just watching Trisha and Jason Nash, like I sit there and I'm like, oh my God, like Trisha shows some of these signs. So we're gonna talk about this and what it's like dating somebody with BPD. And I guess I'll start this video out too by saying like, this is a very unpopular opinion, but if you are struggling with your mental health like in a severe way, do not date. Like go fix yourself then go back to dating. Like it is unfair to the other person to bring them into that mess. I say that as somebody who had to stay single for over a year and a half while I worked on myself. I realized that it was selfish to bring somebody into this while I am still a complete mess. But as I started to work on myself, then I was able to go out and date and not be so selfish, self-centered, and pretty much emotionally abuse the other person. And stay tuned to this video because I'm going to use Jason Nash and Trisha Paytas' relationship and talk about some of my own personal experiences with this stuff, all right? So anyways, Jason Nash just released a video like why Trisha uh, hasn't been in my videos lately, right? It's like a 20 minute video and I'm sitting here with my girlfriend this morning, I'm like, I don't even know if I wanna watch this, you know, whatever, and oh, my God, I will link this down in the description below, but like, whether you are single or in a relationship, like save this video, put it in a playlist somewhere, like watch this video. This is the definition of a toxic relationship. Like I am blown away that this whole thing was recorded. I'm, I'm wondering how much was edited out, but that's one of the reasons I enjoy YouTube is because we could take these very real situations and then discuss them and hopefully, like my purpose of this channel is to help you with your mental health. And relationships can be oh so toxic. It's not a big deal, I'm like letting it go. I just definitely can't come to that house. So one of the things that we'll point out from that clip that I just showed you is like, Trisha is very emotionally abusive. Now, I will say this, and throughout this video, because I'm probably only gonna say it once. Like, let me let me just make this very clear. Like, I don't look at people with mental illnesses like BPD or anything like that as bad people. They're just struggling with their mental health and they need to go get help. So like, emotional abuse isn't always just the person is purely evil. They have some stuff that they need to work on. I used to be a terrible person until I started working on my mental health. But anyways, going back to that clip, like, Trisha is emotionally abusive. Like, you can see how she says like, I'm not upset, I'm not mad, I'm not angry, I love you, da 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 da. But then she just goes in and berates him. Throughout this video too, like I'm focusing on Trisha, but if you watch this video, like Jason is just broken. He is broken and I don't think that Jason should be dating either. I talked about this in my previous video about them breaking up and getting back together, but Jason is not put together either. And by the way, this is one of the biggest misconceptions about dating. And I, I used to tell this to my clients in early recovery all the time. like. When in the philosophy of mankind has this ever worked? You take two glasses, two glass cups, right? And you shatter them on the ground. And then you scoop them together. And then you say, okay, this can work. That doesn't happen. So if you have one broken person and another broken person, it doesn't go together. Both these things have to be whole before they come together. You know, I think we need to work some things out. And once we do. What? I don't know. Do we get married today? Beverly Hills Courthouse is open for marriages. Wanna get married? That's some sort of commitment at least. I don't know. That'd be fun. So this is
is complete bananas. Like, if you don't wanna watch the whole video, just watch the part where they're at this restaurant because there's so much to dissect from this, all right? So Trisha was just berating Jason, talking all this stuff, and then she just goes, let's get married. And I'm like, oh my God. Oh my God, I'm gonna share with you some of my experience with that pretty soon here. But like, this is a typical sign of borderline personality disorder, especially when you're dating somebody. They can rapid fire through these emotions, right? Where they hate you or they don't like you or you're upsetting them or whatever, and then they're just like, let's get married. Let's get married. Because part of it is just, they're, they're used to the toxicity, right? Like that is their comfort zone. Like being comfortable in the chaos. And she throws out, let's get married, right? But immediately it is followed up by this clip. It's not a big deal, I'm like letting it go. I just definitely can't come to that house. So now I, I have to, you know, do all the driving and it's like stupid. You don't have to, you haven't been. Once a week is fine. I'm getting used to it. But if you're just gonna be so staunch, then it's gonna put even more stress on everything. It's not, I'm, I'm happy with us. I'm happy with you. And you gotta do what you gotta do. It just sucks, it sucks, it just hurts. I'm not mad, I'm not like upset, nothing. I just get, I just, it's really like, really hurtful. Please reconsider that. That's one thing I can't do. I wanna be with you and I wanna stay with you. I can't come over to your house. I mean, maybe it's better we live far apart, like I'm from Malibu, and when we do see each other, we miss each other. All right, all right, all right. So right after she says, let's get married, she throws out this idea, okay? Uh, she starts talking about about him getting his own house, and this is another example of emotional abuse, okay, everybody? Like, I hope you are with me here, okay? Like, she's saying like, oh, I'm uh, I'm not upset about it, I'm not hurt, but then she starts saying, oh, but you just wanna spend more time with your friends. Oh, you just don't like seeing me. Oh, you know what, it's fine, it's fine. And it's like, what? Like, watching it, it's, it's like watching, it's like watching children who are in one of their first relationships, but that's one of the things when it comes to certain types of mental illness. Um, like for me, for example, when I got sober at 27 years old, I was pretty much just a grown baby, okay? I still had a lot of childish behaviors, childish emotions. I did a lot of childish things. And I need to do a video sometime because um, there's this worksheet that my mom, who's a psychologist, actually showed me, and it's amazing, where you can see like why you date the people you date and also why you behave the way that you do in arguments. And a lot of it reverts back to your childhood. It's a lot of childish behaviors. And that's why a lot of relationships, people don't have these adult conversations, especially if you're dating somebody who's not mentally well. Can we get married today? The Beverly Hills Courthouse is open for marriages. Can we get married? Yeah. That's some sort of commitment at least. I don't know. That'd be fun. I think we need to work some things out. Yeah, we do that after we get married. All right, I had to bring it back to that last clip because this is something that goes on throughout the rest of the video. Jason Jason actually has some clarity and he's holding her off like, okay, no, we're not getting married. He's like, we need to work on some stuff, right? But she says, we need to get married and then we can work on stuff. No, 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 no. Okay, this is a very big problem that people have, especially when they struggle with mental illness. They keep procrastinating the things that will make them well, right? Like I was talking about with my girlfriend earlier, like I, I judge people based on who they're a fan of, right? Who they're a fan of, who they look up to and stuff. Like if you're a fan, for example, of Tana Mojo, I'm like, something's gotta be going on with you, right? There's a lot of people who are a fan of Trisha Paytas, I'm like, there's something that's gotta be going on with you too. But this is also why people have so many enablers. Like people need to look at Trisha and like, like Trisha acknowledges that she has a lot of psychological issues, but she doesn't get help for them, right? And she keeps trying to procrastinate them and push them off and things like that. Like absolutely not. So I'm very glad that, that Jason stuck to his guns and he's like, no, we need to see a relationship therapist and then we'll talk about marriage. Here's the problem. For the rest of this video, she keeps saying, let's get married, let's get married, let's get married. And she's trying to manipulate him into doing this, all right? And and just throughout the video, like, like I said, they cut a lot of this stuff out. How many times throughout this day they spent together do you think she said, let's get married, let's get married? Like it is absolutely bananas. Do you wanna get married today? So do you wanna go take dance classes at Arthur Murray? across the street or do you want to go get married? Should I get my beard shaved? 
Or should we get married? Work on our relationship before we talk about marriage. I think we're good. I think we're in a good I don't spot. think so. I think we need to go see a therapist. Okay, so we get married and then we go see a therapist. No. Please. Let's work on our relationship. Please. We are working on it. I haven't been crazy for a whole week. I'll get married. <laughs> I thought you'd get off that. Okay, but can we get married? I'll give you one thing. You are dogged. You are. So, I was actually telling my girlfriend about this. My girlfriend and I, we don't talk a lot about our exes, but sometimes it like comes up and things like that. But I was telling her about the, the woman I was dating. Uh, she was a single mom before. It was like a year before. Yeah, probably about a year before my girlfriend and I started talking or, or at least almost a year, right? And like, the, I, I could relate to this experience, right? Like, I was still mentally unwell. Like, after that relationship is when I found meditation. So if you need a reason to meditate, go for it. Like, I did it because of a bad relationship and I realized how emotionally unstable I was. But anyways, her and I had a very, very, very bad relationship. And she got on this kick where she's like, let's get married, let's get married. Like, we're fighting every five seconds. And then she's like, let's get married, let's get married. And like, she was obsessed with this show. Uh, my girlfriend just told me the name and I forgot. It's like 30 Day Fiance or something like that. It's like, they do it, they do it, and then they figure stuff out. And I'm like, I'm like, no, that is bananas. Because part of me knew like this wasn't gonna work out. And she kept saying it over and over and over. And like, this is something that some of us do. And this is a, a big relationship issue as well. Like I almost got to a point, I was this close to getting to a point where I was just gonna be like, if it will shut you up, let's go get married. Like, think about that. Think about that. Like you guys, relationships are part of mental health and we gotta figure this stuff out. Like, can you imagine? Can you imagine if I would have married her? Like, why do you think divorce rates are so high in this country? Because stuff like this happens. But again, Jason stuck to his guns. He's like, we need to seek therapy before we get into a marriage, right? And it's, it's crazy because they need to split up. They need to get away from each other. Like, I made a whole video about this two months ago, I was just looking, it was only two months ago about how their relationship isn't gonna work. I'm not a psychic, right? I just know people who are mentally unstable. I, I just get it, I've seen this happen so many times. I talk to my clients in the rehab center about this all the time, like you are in no position to do this. You are in absolutely no position to do this until you get well. Now, there's going to be a certain number of people down in the comments or who will never even see this video who defend Trisha. And they say things like, oh, she's just joking or oh, this is just part of the videos. And no, 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 no. What this is, is leaving a back door to excuse poor behavior. I mentioned it in the Tana Mojo video I just did the other day, where she talks about, I'm only human. I'm only human, I'm not gonna be a, per be a perfect person. By saying that, Tana is leaving herself a back door to keep screwing up. Now, Trisha, Trisha is using this as an excuse to keep behaving the way she is and not seeking help in the way that she should seek help is because she's constantly making these other videos like, oh, that was just an act, or oh, that was just for YouTube, da 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 No, 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 no. Like, I just finished a book on body language and stuff, and watching the body language between those two, like, actors can even, can't even have that type of precision body language. You know what I mean? Like, Trisha really, really, really needs to seek some type of therapy. And if they want their relationship to work, and here's the advice I'll give to any of you who are stuck in a relationship like this right now, go to therapy. You both need to do individual therapy. Me, I'm not a huge fan of couples therapy. I prefer individual therapy for a while and then couples therapy. Like both people need to work on their individual issues because a lot of them stem from childhood and past relationships and things like that. They need to work on these things individually and then once they get like, I don't know, even 20% better, then they need to see a, like a couples therapist. You, you know what I'm saying? But as far as like leaving that back door open, like I talk to addicts and alcoholics about this all the time because they try to leave themselves back doors to uh, drink again or to use again. For example, some people who came into my rehab with a prescription drug addiction, they then wouldn't go back and say tell their doctor that they were just in rehab because what they're doing is they're leaving a back door so they can go get high again. Or maybe alcoholics, they don't tell their friends that they just went to rehab and they're in, uh, and they're in sobriety now because they're leaving themselves a back door so they don't get questioned if they drink again. Like you need to cut this stuff out if you want to improve your mental health. So so 
to end this video, the last point I'll make is, I was second guessing making this video, and this is just a complete side point. I talk about how like I'm, I always get worried about making these videos about different YouTubers and things like that, because I'm not a drama channel, and my goal is to help people take these real life situations and relate it to themselves and improve their mental health. And there was one comment on my last video about Ace 3 Ace 3 and it's like, lol, this is a drama channel now. And that almost prevented me from making this video. But then my girlfriend, uh, she said something and it sparked my emotions again. I'm like, screw it, I'm making this video. But I just wanted to throw that side point in there. Like, don't focus on the one negative comment or don't focus on one thing that makes you second guess yourself, you know? Do your thing, boo. Do your thing, all right? But let's do this, down in the comments below. Maybe share your experiences, like what can you relate to? Like have you been in a past relationship where it looks similar to Trisha Paytas and Jason Nash? Or are you currently in a relationship and your significant other isn't gonna read my comment section? But anyways, let's share our experience down below, okay? I did, so you need to as well, all right? And don't forget, I'm gonna be editing this video on Twitch, so by the time you see this, I already edited it, but go follow me on Twitch, okay? Twitch.tv slash The Rewired Soul. Come hang out with me. We've been having some amazing conversations and I love I love the personal time I get with all of you all right but that's all I got for this video if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you're new make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos and a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on patreon you are all amazing and if you want to pick up yourself some sweet rewired soul merch boom click or tap on that little icon right there all right thanks so much for watching get out of toxic relationships and I'll see you next time